In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Magic Keyboard to your Mac. The first thing we need to do is connect the Magic Keyboard to the Mac using a cable so they can recognize each other. The cable we need to use is a USB-C to Lightning cable and typically you get one of these when you buy the Magic Keyboard. So we need to connect the USB-C side of the cable directly into the USB-C port on our Mac. And the Lightning side of the cable needs to be connected to our Magic Keyboard and the port is just on the back of the Magic Keyboard, just like so. Now they have been connected, we just need to turn on the Magic Keyboard using the switch on this top corner here. And once they are connected, you get the prompt on your Mac screen asking you if you want to allow the accessory. From here, we just want to click Allow. And the Magic Keyboard is now successfully connected to our Mac. Just bear in mind that if you want to connect this keyboard to another Mac, you'll need to repeat the same process. So now the Magic Keyboard has been recognized on our Mac. If we want to use it wirelessly, all we need to do is simply unplug the cable from the Mac. And the keyboard should now be used on your Mac wirelessly. And you'll get a prompt saying it's been connected. You can double check the keyboard is connected to your Mac by clicking on the control center in the top right, clicking on Bluetooth, and here you shall see your paired devices including your Magic Keyboard. And it will also tell you the battery charge here, which is currently 32%. If you want to access more keyboard settings, you want to click on the Apple logo in the top left hand corner, and then you want to click on System Settings. Once you're in the System Settings, you want to scroll down on the left hand side menu, and you want to click on Keyboard. From here, you can choose more keyboard settings, such as your key repeat rate, your delay repeat rate, as well as choosing what emoji symbol to use. Just bear in mind that if you're using a Touch ID keyboard, it will use the same Touch ID settings as you're using on your Mac. However, if you would like to set this up, you can go back to your system settings. And from here, you want to scroll down and find where it says Touch ID and Password. And then you can go ahead and set up your own Touch ID from here. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.